Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com and welcome to today's project. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The annual catalogue is a great resource and the samples they make to showcase the stamps or the suite of products are always inspiring. This is the woven thread suite on pages 12 to 14. I'm sort of doing a variation of this card here. So this is my take on it. So you need the Bourbon Heirlooms clean stamp set and the dies, which is a over frame and a square frame. And also the stamp and cut embossing folders. And there's an oval one and a, a rectangular one. If you purchase all these together it will save you 10%. The other stamp set I'm using is called Pop of Petals and we'll also need the four petal flower punch that goes with it. My card base is Seaside Spray cut at eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighth inches. Basically it's a European A4 size and it's been cut in half. Um, in metric that will be 21 centimetres by 14.85 centimetres and we're going to be using it in portrait mode. We also need some extra seaside spray card to die cut the frame. A scrap of Whisper White to stamp and punch out your flowers. Whisper White card insert for the inside of the card and that's five and a half by three and three quarters in metric that's 14 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres. You need a piece of uh, Whisper White cut slightly smaller than the frame and that measures 3 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters that's 9.5 centimetres by 7 centimetres. I'm also using the Woven Threads DSP um, there are six double-sided designs two of each uh, in the pack um, they measure 12 by 12 inches. So that's the reverse and that's the front. So it's made to look like tapestry. I've chosen this piece to use with the card and that's been cut at five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. In metric that's 14 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters. Got a terracotta tile mat that goes underneath this three and seven eighth inches by five and five eighth inches. In metric that's 9.8 centimeters by 14.3 centimeters. We'll also need 2019 to 2021 in color faceted dots. Seaside spray half inch 1.3 centimeters scallop linen ribbon. Woven threads trim which is five eighth of an inch 1.6 centimetres in Sahara sand. The inks I'm using are terracotta tile and seaside spray. First I'm going to mount the stamp and in order to do that um, I'll just use my four petal punch template which I keep in my stamp box um, and then make sure that that's in the right position so I can put it on my block then when it comes to stamping it will fit into my punch really easily actually my frame is seaside spray isn't it so I sh should have stamped it in seaside spray so I'll need to do that again I'll set those flowers aside and then I'll decide later um, what I'm going to, which colour I'm going to choose. So I've stamped the inside of my card already so I might as well glue that in and then we can tackle the front of the card. Usually I do the front first but I'm doing stuff in reverse today. Make your sandwich to die cut the frame. You need the magnetic platform, um, a base cutting plate, your cardstock, the rectangular frame, followed by the top cutting plate, and run it through the big shot. 
so I'll do this off camera. Once you've die cut your rectangular frame, now you need to put it in your embossing folder. Now this is a 3D embossing folder, it's the new style for the new catalogue and it's slightly thinner so the sandwich for running your uh, 3D embossing folder in the Big Shot is now slightly changed. If you don't have the embossing mats, uh, which was the white <coughs> impressions embossing plate, the blue silicon mat and the grey silicon mat, then you need to have a workaround. The Im white embossing impressions plate is too thick to go through if you're using the grey mat. So an acrylic plate has been substituted for that. The new 3D embossing folders are slightly thinner so therefore you have to use a different method of running it through the Big Shot. So either you use several sheets of cardstock to get the correct thickness to pass through your Big Shot, only add one sheet at a time and never force the machine. So what works for me is using the embossing mats. I'll pop that onto my folder, make sure it's in the right position. Um, the grey mat, the cardstock inside the folder, the folder itself and then one acrylic plate and I'll run it through the big shot. So I'll be back. There's my embossed frame. Put dimensioners on the back of it to stamp my sentiment. Glue DSP to the cardstock first. and glue that to the card base. Next I'll adhere the sentiment in and make sure that's in the right position. Actually the best way to line it up is to put it behind the frame um, and then Move it down. Next put dimensionals on the top and the sides and then at the bottom only cut them at half so there's room to put your trim on. Then position that over your sentiment and glue it down. Take your trim and put double sided tape on the edge of the trim. Now you might find that the tear and tape is wider than the uh, trim here at the head. So what you can do is peel it off and then fold part of the sticky bit back so it doesn't show on the tassel side. Then straighten that and tuck it underneath your frame. Just remove this bit here. I'm just going to stamp a little something there. Now I'm going to cut about um, one and a half inches lengths off the scallop ribbon and angle it. Now do you think it looks odd with the blue or that shall I use the orange the terracotta towel or that? Now this ribbon is quite stiff and so therefore it's easier to lay it like that. So use your glue dots. And I'm not sure which flower is better. Do you think this one? Or this one. Curl the petals, 
glue with the middle there and stagger the flowers. I'll put some more glue dots down here so that the flower will stick to the ribbon. Pop that on. Set a dot so I'll use the seaside spray one. Pop that on and So there you have it. Which do you prefer? The pretty peacock one or the terracotta tower one? I like the paper on this, I think. I don't know. I can't decide. Anyway, do give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Join me again for more inspiration next time. Don't forget the links are below in the show more section to my online store. Thanks for visiting. Bye. <laughs>